trading in financial markets. These words open up a whole world of possibilities. As in any trade, it is about the exchange of property, buying and selling of financial tools. These may be monetary tools, such as stocks, currencies and bonds, or derivatives, such as CFDs, futures and options, contracts that receive value from underlying assets. Actually, it doesn't matter what kind of tool it is. The idea is always the same, to benefit from price movements. If you buy at a lower price and sell at a higher price, you make a profit. If you sell at a lower price than bought, you suffer losses. Sounds pretty simple. At any one time, millions of people, companies, organizations, and even governments are all trying to make a profit. This means that prices are always fluctuating. The more movement, the more volatile the market that can provide more opportunities for profit. This also increases the risk. Trading in financial markets is always done one of two ways. Through the stock exchange in a highly organized market where participants trade for a certain type of instrument. For example, American shares in the New York Stock Exchange or out of the exchange without an intermediary. Bidding is carried out between two parties, like when you exchange currency at the airport or buy and sell CFDs through your supplier, a broker or provider. There are several different types of traders. Someone sticks to certain tools or asset classes. The rest have more diverse portfolios. Some people like to dive into research, study news and financial reports to plan their trading. Other traders make decisions based on statistical trends. Some open many short-term positions in a matter of hours, minutes or even seconds. Others invest more for the long term and they hold assets for months and even years. But all traders have something in common. Risk is therefore important to balance potential profit with probability of loss, since this is the meaning of trading in financial markets. FIBO Group. Try. Trade. Earn.